Today, we are going to check out these brand new Seiko Presage models, not your run of the mill Presage Star Bar Limited Editions. We got a chocolatey brown, almost like a fuzzy suede feeling box. It's pretty nice. And when we open it up, it says Seiko Presage Limited Edition in gold and a huge white leather pillow. Seiko always ups the level of the box on the limited edition presages. And they both come with these pamphlets that explain the inspiration behind the timepiece. We have the Illumin and the Red Brick. These Star Bar Originals were created by a world leading bartender, the owner. I don't know what world leading bartender means. Does it mean he pours drinks really fancy? better than others? Or does that mean he invents really nice drinks? I remember when we looked at the margarita ones, the last Star Bar limited editions, and they look delicious, just like these look delicious. When I finally one day go to Japan, I'm going to the Star Bar. And it would be awesome to have a Star Bar presage strapped on my wrist for that occasion. Reference number SSA 455 for the Illumin and 457 for the red brick. Both are limited to 5,000 units. And that may sound like a lot, but the Presage series has a huge fan base, and sometimes they pick up steam years after the release. Kavar Jewelers jokingly told me, we won't know if these are popular until they've sat in the window for three years, <laughs> because it's happened many times before. The case, cookie cutter dress watch, nothing special, and it's completely high polished with a gorgeous boxed Hardlex crystal. Now you might be groaning for sapphire, but you know what? Hardlex on the Mohs hardness scale is 7.5, sapphire is 9. It's not that bad. It's stronger than a mineral crystal. It's not your typical mineral crystal. So while I do prefer Sapphire, I don't think it's a deal breaker because what you're getting here is what Seiko presages are known for. A fantastic dial. This one has such an interesting texture plus 10 cutouts. When I first saw the cutouts, I thought a scarab. It reminded me of the mummy for some reason, like a beetle opening its wings flying away, but it actually represents the ripples on top of the cocktail emanating from a single point. And that single point is the balance. Some of the cutouts have gold beveling on the edge, and it really gives the watch a premium vibe. I'm loving it. I don't know which one I like better, the red brick or the Illumin. Both have a signed cupcake crown with tons of grip, push pull, no ghost position, giving the watch 50 meters of water resistance. Now let's do those measurements. I got 40.4 millimeters in diameter, a thickness of 11.7 including that boxed hard lex and a lug to lug of 47.5. So while I do prefer a smaller dress watch and this one does have a large face and huge crystal at 35.5, the diminutive lugs helps keep it in check and it does wear, I'm going to say, pretty true to size. The red brick does wear smaller, but here it is next to a modded Dress KX. So you can see the difference right there, 40 mil versus 40 mil. And the Presage does have a longer lug to lug, 47.5 versus 46. The strap is 20 mil, tapering down to 18, and you do get that signed Seiko deployment. These are tough to get a hold of if you want to add it to a watch that doesn't have it. So there's some value here. And the strap does have quick release spring bars, so no damage under the lugs. And since we're back here, let's check out that case back. The movement, the 4R72, this one is all in gold. Of course, not real gold but it does add a little bit of a dressy flavor here and makes it look a little bit more premium. Let me know, are you digging the gold movement? I liked it when they had the gold rotor. I'm, I'm not so sure about the full gold movement, but that's just me. The dial on the red brick doesn't have that frozen ice textured look that the Illumin has. It's a flat dial, but the red brick has nicer hands, half bead blasted, half high polish. They are completely high polish on the Lumen, and you guys will probably notice that in the macro shots. We got an applied Seiko logo at three o'clock and gorgeous applied sharp faceted hour indices all around. Powered by the 4R72216 VPH Hack Handwind Automatic, 24 joules and 42 hours of power reserve, no date, no ghost position, and let's look at the rate. Wow, powerful amplitude, 310. We got nine, 10, now 11. Little bit of beat air there at 0 
and the fourth and final round plus 11. Okay, let's do 12 down to see the positional variance of the 4R72. Amplitude did drop, but the B error got better. 0.0, .0. perfect, look at that line. And the rate, plus 12, plus 12. You know what, it's impressive, it's keeping a similar rate with lower amplitude. This movement's a good one. Small regulation and it will be spot on. Yep, and the fourth and final round, 11. Good job. So how much is your wallet going to be affected? 595 USD. That I think is a decent price. With pricing nowadays, everything is going higher. But if you want to discuss that price, email me down below and Kavar Jewelers may be able to help. And if you're looking for a 38 millimeter presage, check out the video on the right of your screen right now. And I'll see you in the next one.